welcome back to another creepy video. But first, right down here is my Twitter. If you want to DM me a tweet or tweet me some Urban Legends, creepypastas, stuff like that, go right ahead. And let's get started on the video. Today's video, I want to talk about a mansion that threw me down a rabbit hole this past weekend. And I did some research, I watched the movie, and I never really believed in gypsies or charlatans or psychics until seeing the movie. Never really put a little thought into it. The life of Sarah Lockwood Paradigm. I think I chopped up her last name a lot. Started when she married her husband, William Winchester, September 30th, 1862. He was the president of the Winchester Arms Company. They made the Winchester rifle that won the war. Sarah and William had one child, a daughter named Annie. Sad to say, after a month, she passed away on July 15th. The worst part about it is 15 years later, her husband passed away from tuberculosis, March 7th, 1981. After her daughter's death and the death of her husband, she sought out psychics, hoping they'll bring her closure. But closure is not what she got. Instead, the psychic told her the death of her family was caused by vengeful spirits killed the hands of the rifle. The psychic did inform her with some good news. The only way to save her life would be to build a house on the west where the sun sets. And the construction must never stop. This house would be the home for her and the spirits to live in. Little known fact, when her husband passed away, she inherited $20.5 million and 50% ownership of the company. This made her the richest woman of the world. Money was not a problem for her to build this house. She traveled to San Jose, California, where she purchased a house from Dr. Cardwell in 1884. And thus starts the construction of the Ghost Mansion. Now this is where the construction of the house gets creepy. She had no blueprints, no idea, no plan on what she's going to build. The only prints for the house were the ones that she drew that came from the spirits that talked to her. Some of the rooms were only one way in and one way out. Stairs that led to a dead end, windows that led nowhere outward, rooms built inside rooms, floors with skylights and chimneys that stopped at the ceiling. The mansion was a labyrinth of randomness. The mansion had 160 rooms spanning at 24,000 square feet, 2,000 doors, 10,000 windows, 47 fireplaces, 40 stairwells, six kitchens, three elevators, and two basements. Now the theme of the mansion was 13. Building this house, the number 13 had a big part. Each room had 13 chandeliers, 13 lights, the doors had 13 panels, the greenhouses had 13 cup holes, the mansion included 13 bathrooms, and each staircase had 13 steps. This mansion was odd, but it was complete with everything someone needed to live. Steam air heating, indoor plumbing, modern toilets, dumb waiters, and its own personal gas plant the whole mansion. Now in 1906, there was a massive earthquake. And before this earthquake, the mansion had seven stories. The top three floors came crashing down, including the observation tower. Sad to say, Sarah Winchester passed away September 5th, 1922, at the age of 83. All her possessions was given to her niece and her secretary, except for the house. Construction on the house had stopped, finally. The mansion was considered worthless due to the earthquake, but is now a national landmark and a tourist attraction in San Jose, California. Sounds like this mansion would be worth a visit for a vacation one day. If you get past the spirits and the hauntings and the ghosts, let me know down in the comments what you think. Would you want to go visit that place? If you like this video, hit that like button, let me know. Until next time, peace guys.